Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Zolden, and I'm here to help you figure out what class you should take next year. After Algebra 2, you have two options, pre-calculus or college math. And every year, there's always a handful of students that end up in the wrong class because they don't understand the expectations that are presented in pre-calculus or they don't understand the difference between college math and pre-calculus. So I'm here today to help clear up some of that confusion. So first off, what is college math? So here are the topics that are going to be covered in your college math class should you choose to take it. So in the fall, you will talk about reasoning with application, so looking at various word problems. You'll look at sets, so looking at the union and the intersection of sets. You'll solve basic equations and inequalities. Most of these are done in one variable. Factoring and solving quadratics. The metric system with dimensional analysis, so you'll convert back and forth between centimeters, inches, feet, yards, all of that, as well as a little bit of basic geometry. So the basic geometry comes in the form of volume, area, surface area, looking at um, supplementary and complementary angles. Second semester in the spring, you'll look at probability, so calculating probability, empirical probability, theoretical probability. You'll also look at statistics, looking at measures of central tendencies like mean and median, standard deviation, and you'll also look a little into finance. So in a nutshell, college math is the greatest hits of Algebra 1, Algebra 2, and Geometry. So a lot of the stuff that you have learned in Algebra 1, Algebra 2, and Geometry, you'll see again in college math um, with the addition of a little bit of finance. Now, what is pre-calculus? So pre-calculus is very similar to Algebra 2. So fall semester, um, you'll be looking at functions and polynomials, so graphing polynomials, um, finding zeros of polynomials, you'll look at exponential and logarithmic functions, you'll look at matrices and how you can solve systems of equations using matrices. You'll also have an, um, its own chapter on systems of equations as well as a section on conic sections. Conic sections are looking at hyperbolas, parabolas, ellipses, um, so a vast majority of fall semester you have seen before up until you get to probably matrices and conic sections. The spring semester focuses mostly on trigonometry. So the vast majority of the spring is trigonometry. So you'll look at angles and the unit circle. You'll be graphing trig functions, looking at inverse trig functions, um, looking at trig identities, trig formulas. You'll also look at law of sines and law of cosines, as well as vectors. Now trigonometry typically takes up until the middle towards the end of April. And then after that, you will do sequences, series, and probability. So I like to call pre-calculus Algebra 2 on steroids because a vast majority of the stuff that you see in Algebra 2 that you've learned this year, you'll see again in pre-calculus. It'll just be a little bit more challenging, um, except for maybe the trig stuff because I don't think you guys do a whole lot of trig in Algebra 2 anymore. Okay. So what do the college math and pre-calc teachers recommend? So if you're getting an A or a B in Algebra 2, you'll do fine in pre-calc. Pre-calc should be the next class for you. If you got a C in Algebra 2, it depends on what kind of C you got, as well as what your Algebra 2 teacher recommends. So if you get a 75% or higher, theoretically you should be fine in pre-calculus as long as you keep up with your work. You can't be lazy, you can't slack off, um, you gotta make sure you're on top of your homework assignments because practice is very important in pre-calculus. Now, if you got less than a 75%, you might wanna think long and hard about going to pre-calculus. College math might be a better fit because the workload in pre-calc can be quite challenging as well as rigorous. Now, if you got a D in Algebra 2, pre-calc is not for you. You should take college math. Now, other similarities and differences between the two classes um, are the pacing. So for pre-calculus, you'll pretty much have a new lesson every single day. Um, the lessons for pre-calc go pretty fast. Um, you have a lot of material to cover in a short amount of time. 
College math moves a bit slower and we'll spend a couple days on each section. So college math is a slower course than pre-calculus just because there's not as much material that needs to be covered. As far as tests are concerned, you will be able to do retests in both classes. Both classes do offer dual enrollment through Rio Salado, which is pretty cool. So that means you can get college credit for what you are doing um, here at Mountain Point. Pre-calculus is actually two Rio Salado courses. It's MAT 152 and MAT 182. And college math is one Rio Salado course, MAT 142. And that is in the spring, as opposed to pre-calc, which you'll do um, for fall and spring semester. And another thing that you'll need to do for pre-calc is you'll need to complete a summer packet. It is usually on the school's website. Um, and then there's a quiz on this material towards the end of the second week of school. So as you can probably already tell, in terms of difficulty, pre-calc is the harder class out of the two. Now, is it impossible? Of course not. It just depends on your work ethic and what you are going to put into um, that math class that you're taking next year. Now, if you're still unsure or you have questions, you're more than welcome to stop by and chat with any of the pre-calc or college math teachers. Mr. Sinkovic is in F-137, Mr. Rupp is in F-141, Mr. Unruh is in F-134, and I, Mrs. Zolden, is in, I am in F-142. So I hope this video clears up any sort of confusion you may have and helps you figure out what class to take next year. Maybe I'll see you in my class.